Hey guys, if you want to build a complete physique and you want the look of a smaller waist, then watch this video. It's a complete back workout. It's all dumbbell and cable based, so it's really good if you're a beginner to weightlifting or if you're more advanced and you want to get back to the basics. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone. We're starting this workout off with bent over barbell rows. So for this movement, keep your elbows up and near your sides as you lift the barbell. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart. So you can help steady your body throughout this movement and make sure there is a bend in your knees as well. While you're doing this movement, focus on performing this movement slowly and with control to make good contact in your back. This exercise also strengthens your lower back because it's used to keep your body position. Repeat this exercise four times with 12 reps in each set and then take a one to two minute break and we're gonna move on to cable lat pull downs. So cable lat pull downs are one of my favorite back exercises because it creates contact in both your lats and your core because you're using your core to steady your body throughout the whole movement. The contact you're creating in your lats gives you the illusion of a smaller waist. So as you build your lats bigger, it gives you more of an hourglass figure to your back. So I find this to be a very underrated muscle group to work. You're gonna do this set three times with 12 reps in each set. And once you're finished the first time, we're gonna move right on to a superset of one arm dumbbell rows. So a superset is when you do two exercises back to back with no rest in between. After you finish both exercises, you can take a one to two minute rest and then redo the whole superset. So for one arm dumbbell rows, when you're on the bench, try and keep your waist parallel to the floor. You can have one foot at your side. I like to place my free foot about one or two feet away from the bench because I find it easier to steady my body when it's a little bit further from the bench rather than right beside it. And as you lift the dumbbell up, make sure you're keeping your core strong and breathe out as you lift. And when you're lowering the dumbbell, you can breathe in. So repeat this exercise 12 times on each side. Take your rest and then redo the whole superset. And from there, we're gonna move on to cable low rows. So cable low rows target your middle back more than your lats, so it's important to include them in your back workouts to create an even well-built back physique. I did this movement three times with 10 reps in each set, and I superset this with one arm cable rows. So one arm cable row is similar to the low cable row, except you're using only one arm at a time. I like to do this directly after a cable low row because it causes your muscles to burn out quickly. Also doing this exercise one arm at a time is good for building your back equally. So you can decrease any possibility of muscle imbalances being created in your back or you can help to reduce any muscle imbalances you already have in your back. I repeat this exercise three times with 10 reps on each arm. And from there, we're moving on to the last exercise of this workout. So I ended this workout off with rear delt dumbbell flies. I often finish off my back workouts with a rear delt exercise because they correspond well with back exercises. And rear delts are also often a weak point on a lot of people. I find that they're a very weak point on myself. So I actually work my rear delts twice a week. I work them when I work shoulders as well as when I work back. Repeat this exercise four times with 10 reps on each set, and then you completed this whole back workout. I hope you guys found this video useful, and I'd really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and followed me on Instagram to help support me. Thanks, everyone.